All right, we are live. Welcome, welcome to a Saturday stream. It's a good Saturday today. Um, so, of course, we are continuing the Zoranian Aztec Red noise function and uh, world edit. Lovely, lovely doc. Um, and of course, before that, let's continue to go over the builds and such that have been posted. Um, I think I forgot this little guy last time. He's a cute little dude, I will say. Um, definitely already seen that. Yeah, okay. So, this is where we start. Ooh, I really like this texturing going on for sure. Uh, that part at night would look a little weird, I will say, the, the sea lanterns, but in the day anyway, this texturing looks fantastic. Um, yeah, a lot of good details and stuff too. Oh, okay, I see what they're, they're basing it off of. Nice. Yeah, that's fantastic. It's hard to make an angle like that or curved sort of road like that. The square building. Um, where are we? There we go. Actually, is this the, um, yeah, from Pixar? Nice. Okay. Um, honestly, I don't know how I feel about this movie coming up. By the way, I don't know. We'll see. That's all. That's all I'll say for now. Hopefully, it's good. But I don't know. Um, what was it, the last? The, what was the last one that came out? The like under the the secret world or whatever. That one was so so. wasn't wasn't very good. I think that was just Pixar. Or was that just Disney? I don't know. Regardless, that one wasn't very good. <laughs> this is a nice castle. I like all these little different angles and stuff going on with the houses and stuff adds a lot to it honestly and this this curved walkway there fantastic i'm trying to figure out what that uh that statue is it's got wings and it looks kind of like a headless horse or something so the wing oh there's the head okay it's like it's a dragon okay hold on Let, we'll zoom into this because i want to i want to see this better um see all those nice little details in the castle and stuff too yeah there you go you can you can see it's even got some fire in its mouth apparently just a little weird but maybe it's not a statue <laughs> that could be um all right put that to the side nice uh We'll say the the palm trees are all probably the same palm tree. You can tell because they're all basically the exact same height. Um, but nice aesthetic at least. Very temple-y. I love the giant coconuts that are... I mean, I guess, are they, I assume they're giant coconuts because they're not just rocks. This is interesting. Um... Ooh, so much blue. This feels like it would be a fun thing to just run around and stuff and try to climb up this or something somehow. Yeah. Very uh, Assassin's Creed kind of scaling. Nice. Um, is that? Yeah, I guess that's pretty like 2D. Love to see other angles. Oh, maybe it's not 2D. No, I would like to see the other angles of this. This looks dope. Ooh. Nice pink jet. If only. Um, like the water tower. That's cute. I'm guessing they had to world edit the that thing going on in the water tower there, though. The little fences that don't have anything in the middle, but they still have it like it's connected to something. Um, of course, I guess the grass and stuff below the branches also, or the leaves, wouldn't work. 
But yeah, it looks good still. Very nice, cute little build. Um, all right. So, with that, let's get to it. Uh, so last time, I think, yeah, we basically, we did the cylinder and we started doing some other stuff. Um, so we'll just continue on with the sphere one. Um, and I do want to say if, if you have any, uh, questions about any of the stuff previously, I mean, obviously I would recommend going and going and looking at previous stuff. Wait, this stuff is different. Hold on. Did I skip this? I think we skipped this. I don't remember doing this. That or it's new. Um, regardless, we'll do this first because I, I definitely don't remember doing this and I don't have it here, but I did do, what is it? Th this one after it, because I remember asking them how to do the, uh, the edges. Um, okay. So let's make a, a quick selection. What the? <laughs> Nil and his, his projects. Okay, so this is like a really simple thing, but this looks like it's gonna make something really cool with just a very, very simple uh, X minus Y plus Z. So that is that is all of the, the coordinates. So I'm wondering, I'm curious what happens if we try to do different orientations of those and stuff. I assume it just makes the other uh, uh, brand new examples. Ha! Okay, yeah, I was right. I was right. Okay, I'm not tripping. Okay, thank you, Serrani. <laughs> or not, Serrani. You're not Serrani. Thank you, Aztec. Sorry. <laughs> uh, let me. Do, I was just scrolling up to make sure there wasn't any more. Um, awesome. I love this one. This one looks like it's going to be like a snowflake kind of thing. Um, only a few minutes old. Oh, fantastic. I love it. Thank you. Just in time for the stream, eh? It was a, were you were you trying to, to, to throw me off on that one? <laughs> just sneak this in real quick. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> How much other stuff did you add? I'm curious. Did you add like other stuff up here or is it just in the examples that you added stuff? Oh. Wait, no. We just scrolled down too far. Okay, it's like I was like, wow, that's new. I just scrolled down too far, it's okay. Um, that weird hexagon snowflake occurs due to rounding errors. Really? C logs at top. Okay. Yeah, we'll definitely look at that real quick. That sounds weird. Um, so it literally happens because of errors, not because of, wait, mine didn't work. Did it do it? Um, no, it did. It did something. I think I need to redo a selection. Hold on. <laughs> Yeah, maybe my selection wasn't big enough or square enough. Might have been too thin or something. Um, I'm also going to do... Wait, zero blocks. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me make sure I don't have a G mask on or something. No, it did place two blocks last time. Nope. It, what? Okay, one more time. Second first uh and that's this one right uh where are we there we go okay so this is the i assume this bookmark will take us to the thing we want to go to right wait what How do you how do you actually go to it? What? Oh no, this is the bookmark. Never mind. Okay. Um Am I doing something wrong? <laughs> or is it just not working for me because I have bad luck? Is this is this just one of those those things? Um So boom. Does it need to be like a perfect square or something? Can I just do um Oh god, I already forgot the um the extend one the oh god, what is the slash slash uh why do I always forget the 
commands that are useful. Um, how do you expand in every direction again? Um, Cause that's the easiest way to make a square thing. Um, but it places most blocks on a even selection. Yeah, so that, that's what I figured. Outset, yeah, so that's, that's always what I forget. Outset, see that doesn't even make any sense, but it does, like it does, but it doesn't, you know? All right, uh, yeah, we'll just do that. So that, that should be a perfect square now, and then we do that, and it should hopefully do the, the rounding error like that. Yeah, there we go, okay. So yes, I think, I think I'm assuming having a perfect square just is, is the only way to do it. Um, so hold on, I wanna do this, and then I wanna just contract one block, literally just one block on this edge and see what difference that makes. So it's no longer a perfect square, but it, and it should do it over here. Wow. Yeah, it literally went from this to just a couple of lines of blocks. So yeah, perfect square, definitely necessary for that one. Or not, not perfect, sorry, perfect cube. <laughs> um, okay. But that's, that is really cool. It's like a snowflake. And then, yeah, I assume that just changing the, uh, uh hold on, stop moving. Okay. Um, I assume just changing the different stuff changes, oops, um, which orientation it has. So if we just switch like X and Z, that would probably just orient it differently, even though it's the same, right? Wait, what? Hold on, was that not a perfect square? I thought I stopped and did it, hold on. Out, set, 50. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, no, that didn't change the, uh, that changed just the pattern, right? That rotated literally the pattern, not the orientation of the actual thing itself. Huh, that's not what I expected, okay. I was actually, I was genuinely expecting it to just literally rotate the entire thing itself into a different, like, corner, essentially, or just to be facing a different corner. Um, not what I expected. Okay, good to know. Um, let's maybe actually read this. Diagonal plane of blocks whose relative XYZ coordinates add up to zero to the power of 14. Intricate due to rounding errors. So, allowing tolerance by going from whatever equals zero to absolute value of whatever is less than 0.1. Okay, yeah, so we're, we're changing from this to this. Um, and yeah, I assume there's a lot of different math stuff that you could put in here to make this more fun if you really wanted. Um, that's not to the power of 14. <laughs> oh. Nice. <laughs> I'm an idiot. It's okay. Uh, so <laughs> that is funny. Um, that does kind of... I mean, to be fair, <laughs> that is that is like how you would kind of do something like that, right? <laughs> Though I guess they're supposed to be like the little carrot or whatever, right? Oh my god. Uh, Alright, it's fine. Okay, it's been a long day. Um, hex got occurs due to plane being clipped by a cuboid selection. Um, okay, yeah, understandable. But, to be fair, also, it's on me. It's, it's definitely like that plenty of times in the dock and I, you know... <laughs> I'm just an idiot. It's okay. Um, boom, boom. Outset. Let's just do like 30 this time. Okay, so just 
see, show this one. Um, bam, solid. What is that, hexagon? It, no, yeah, hexagon. I, I, I literally just, just read the word. I should, I should, <laughs> should know this. Can you make like more edges? easily or is that something that would take like a lot more math and stuff in there do you understand how this fixes the rounding errors i mean it's i mean mostly just this thing i assume because it's le it's not equal zero it's it's less than point zero one i mean i don't even understand exactly why that fixes it but i understand what part of it i guess is fixing it at the very least um So the hexagon occurs due to the plane being clipped. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Um, so yeah, it's the tolerance, right? I mean, that's what it, this, this is the tolerance and it's saying like, this is like basically zero. Yeah. This has to be zero and this can be, yeah, like, everything okay so yeah uh basically what Zerani is saying is this this little thing here can be 0 0.001 or you know you can just keep going with the zeros obviously because if it's less than 0 0.01 which is what it actually has in the command so let's just plop that back in hold on um so yeah if it's less than 0 0.01 you're fine but you could also you know it technically it accounts for all of the the possible you know as well uh so yeah it fills in fills in the hexagon okay so now that we have determined that we've already done these i'll uh fly back to them because they're right over here yeah so that's this one and then we started doing the cylinder i don't think we actually ever did the sideways one but it's essentially just change the the coordinates it's really nothing like special it's literally just reverse and switch around these bad boys to change which way you want the cylinder to paste um and that is that is actually more helpful than just doing slash slash cyl because slash slash cyl you can only do um oops sorry um slash slash selection cylinder um so cyl uh you can only do up and down or i guess on the on the y axis but with this command you can essentially excuse me create the, the cylinder within your selection on any rotation and um i i assume that you can do like a 45 degree one by doing uh some just a, some different math in there like maybe divided by or multiply by or something like that is that is that a thing How does that work what happens if you divide not what i expected i think that just made it like massive or something or it made it like a little weird noodle tube thing um so if i just go like expand 50 and do that again what does that do okay no that didn't work um Oops, that's not what I'm about to do. Okay. Um, obviously, I don't know the math to do it. <laughs> okay. Whoa. So that's not really what I was expecting. I don't know what divided actually did. So, but that that is kind of cool, with the the side having these uh, these bumps on them. Thanks for like a quick, easy building. <laughs> just thinking I mean yeah if you do enough with this you could probably make a building in like a, a snap of a finger right essentially okay I'm not sure how long I'll be able to go today my throat's doing a bit of a eh um but we'll see okay so yeah now we can do the sphere and of course, I assume that this will be not actually a perfect sphere. Uh, we need to go back to cuboid selection. 
So if we don't make it a perfect cube and we just kind of randomly go for it, we plop that in. Yeah, it's going to be an oval egg thing. Um, but that is a quick, easy way to make an egg, I guess. And uh, I assume that we can, if we wanted to, um, if we switch X and Z, what happens? Does that just rotate it? That did nothing. Okay. <laughs> let's try a different one. So let's try Y and X over here. So Y, X, X. Okay. Nope, that didn't rotate. Okay, I guess that didn't rotate things. I don't know how to do that. Okay, so... Um... Okay, so the radius here is the only, yeah, the radius is the only thing that's changed between these two and that's within your selection. So I assume that, yeah, if we just literally make this with the same stuff, 1.2 or three, I don't know, whatever. Uh, it'll kind of, yeah, push up to the edges of our selection a little more. Could be useful for stuff. If you want flat edges and then like curves and stuff, you could probably get some nice slivers of curves and stuff from that. Um, 2 plus 4 equals 4 plus 2. Fair enough. <laughs> um, I mean, that is fair, but you'd think like rotating it would make the... Uh, the way it's putting it in there different still, you know, like just literally like, so the egg is like forming that way instead of, you know, forming on whatever axis, essentially. Um, but what do I know? <laughs> Obviously nothing. All right. Uh, so this one, fluffy ball, fuzz balls. Ah, oh, yeah. I love me some fuzz balls. Um, that's what you should call this instead of fluff. You should just call it a fuzzball. Patent pending. Uh, <laughs> outset 30. Uh, plop that one in. Okay. And this one is essentially just adding in now um, a random divided by 8 to, to do that, I guess. The Also the return. No, the return's been there. So yeah, just the random divided by eight is what plus random, I guess. Yeah. So plus random divided by eight is is adding in this nice little fluff on the edges. Man, I really wish I had had something like this. This, oh. <laughs> you have no idea. Um, I just, I need to show something now because, um, Oh man, that's just, <sighs> you guys don't know how lucky you are to have these commands is all I'm saying, all right? Um, how long ago was this build now? Oh uh, God, sorry, I'm trying to find it. It's so far ago. Oh my God, it's on the second page. It's been so long. Okay, so this one, um, when I made the sun for this, here we go, I guess that's good enough. I mean, as you can see, it has that same, that same noise thing going on. Um, yeah. As you can see, <laughs> something like this could have been done in a snap of a finger. This was not done in a snap of a finger. I'll tell you that much. Um, just this planet was probably at least a few hours of work. Um... That's funny. How long ago was this now? Nine years! Holy hell. Ugh. Can't believe I've been doing this this long. <laughs> it's insane. All right, yeah, so it was nine years ago though, so I don't think we knew this much about that, honestly, anyway. I mean, maybe like two people in the whole world did. <laughs> and they certainly weren't 
willing to share it at that point. So, um, yeah, that's awesome. Just want you to know that. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm literally just like already like, all right, I could have done this, like made the sun in like two seconds, just using all of the, the different techniques that we've used in here to texture stuff and all that. <sighs> Fun. Anyway, um, so moving on, we'll do, I think, I think we'll probably just do the donuts because again, like I said, my throat's really starting to do a sore thing. Um, it's getting to that point where like, you know, you feel like it's going to get sore, but it's not quite like sore, sore yet. You know, I hate it. Um, all right. So we got nice nice donuts didn't we do we did donuts somewhere in this before right like up here didn't we yeah this thing this is yeah yeah we did do this so what is the difference between that command and this one ah this is a generate so this one's got Chorus, I assume doesn't matter what you actually call it. Um or is that something important? Minor major, yeah, so that's just like this is just the, the variable, so that could be anything. And I assume that this is also just the variable equals, yeah. Okay, so this can also be anything. Okay. Um so still though, what is the difference now between these two? That we've we've already been through so this is the one that we've learned a long time ago um so we still have the the point seven but this time it doesn't quite have all the bracketing going on we just have these division things instead more so like we do this then this then this stuff uh, then all of this i guess or I guess it's not a then. What is? Oh God, I already, I already forgot what it actually is. Um, what is it actually called? Already forgotten everything in my life, of course. Uh, does it have like a an official that then? Just put the numbers into variables. Nothing special. Okay. I mean, it does like divide up things though, right? Like it. it like this, this little, uh, what is it, the, I don't even remember the, the real name it actually has. <laughs> Doing good. Um, yeah, I don't know. It does divide up the, the command, at least, right? Anyway, the regardless, um, semicolon, yeah, I mean, like, how, what is it, what would it be in terms of the actual command, though? Because, like, it's, it's sort of like a do this, then this, or not then this, but, like, uh, or, no, not even or, it's just like, do these things, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> but like, these are separate things, kind of, I don't know, that's essentially what it says, right, like, it's just like, this is a different thing than this, but I mean, semicolon, I mean, I guess in, in English, that's still the same thing, but it's, it's hard to be like, oh yeah, just, just assume that it's the same in English. <laughs> when it comes to this shit. Um, yeah. Um, I'm excited to get to the point where we're like using uh, tan and cosine and all that stuff. That's gonna be insane. Yeah, here we go. We're already getting yeah, some sine waves going on here. Yeah. The waves, man. The waves. I love waves them curves all right uh anyway uh so essentially there's just more bracketing in this uh it looks to be mostly okay i need to why can i stop highlighting it okay um so minor whatever and then yeah so we still have the minus square root uh x plus x plus Except this time we have y plus y times y, and then I think we just have yeah different we have different variables in here to kind of rotate the donut. 
Um, and then we have square root instead of uh, less than one. Or not square root. <laughs> Power. Um, okay. But we have less than over here, so I guess that makes up for it. I, all right. Yeah, this, this one just looks way more complicated than this one somehow still. Like, this one seems easier to kind of grasp for me. I mean, obviously, we got explained this one. It's kind of like when the math teacher gives you... Uh... <laughs> this is exactly that. I just I just want to point that out, all right? This is exactly like when the math teacher, they show you exactly... They explain to de in detail exactly how something works. And then on the test... They give you this one and they're like all right explain that now it's, it's exactly what just happened there and i hate it i absolutely fucking hate it when that happens <laughs> it's not on you though it's on me um <laughs> i'm just saying <laughs> that, is, that is like the prime example of that though it's like this is this is the exact same result you are just literally making a donut but somehow <laughs> Somehow the math is entirely fucking different and you've got to figure it out. Um, anyway, make the first donut. Um, I don't know if we even have a selection. Uh, with the boom, boom, out, set, 50, plop that in. Um, so this one, this one has the, um, no, it doesn't. No, yeah, no, I was gonna say this one has the the layered stuff, but it doesn't it doesn't even have that yet So it's literally the same same thing. So watch I'm gonna put this in the exact same uh, Selection and it's literally just gonna be the same donut rotated but a little bit thicker. Yeah Nice. Yeah, it is a little bit thicker indeed, too. That's so funny um But yeah, all my nightmares of math are coming back to me I just want you to know that and I'm doing it for you guys. <laughs> I don't think it's helpful for anyone though. <laughs> I hope it is. Um, all right. So yeah, so let, let's just kind of at least understand the difference between these two and what's making them thinner here. So the radius is the only, yeah. So this one's just got, I assume it's this thing right here. Cause that seems to be the only thing that's changed. Let's see two. Yeah. It's only this, this is the radius. Okay. Um, so if we, we, uh, we, we, if we make the radius closer to whatever this one was, which I think is just point two, it should be exactly the same as that other one. So watch, we just go boom. See, this is, this is how I do it. We got, we got to figure it out slowly, but surely. Um, is that going to be the right size? No. Nope. Well, yes, but. But also, no. Like, it is the right... I think that is the same thickness or whatever, but it, like, it... it Stretched it, too, instead of making it in the center like it was. That's interesting. I'm curious why I did that, because all I changed was that. And... That's all you changed in this command. It didn't, like, push it to the edges for you. Curious why it stretched it for me. Did I change something else on accident? No. Did the other one, was the other one doing that too? And I just didn't notice? Hold on. Let's go back to the point three. Maybe the other one was doing that. I just didn't notice. No, it's not. It's definitely all the way. I think it's all the way to the edges, but it's not like feeling like it's cut off like the other one is. Interesting. I don't know why it's doing that, actually. Um, oh, you changed this too. Here, but... Okay, so... Let's see. Hold on. What is the other one again? The other uh, command. Does that have a point nine something that could be related to that? Um, this is the first one. Okay, so... Is it this one? Yeah, so 0. 0.7. Okay, yeah, so you did change that to 0. 0.9. Um, hmm. 
did we keep that in the last one? What do we have? Yeah, we have 0. 0.7 here still too, so it should technically be the same. Unless we need this to be 9 and that one to be 2 or something. No, because that doesn't make any sense. It would still need to be the same as the other command, right? And then this would just be 2. I don't know why it's pushing it to the edge and like stretching it. Okay, what? What? Wait, 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 wait a minute. What happened? Hold on. Now I gotta put them in the a document because I, I don't know what the hell just happened. That... What? <laughs> okay. Um. Inner and outer radius should not add to more than one. But what did I? The only thing I changed was was literally this. The last I thought I, maybe I changed something else. But like I could have swore that all I changed that this. Oh, okay. No, no, no. So yeah, okay. I I did copy the uh, the other command. I have the point nine there. I see it now already. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. I see what I did. I see what I did. My bad. Um, I, I thought I was using the other the other command with the point seven already. That's my bad. Okay, yeah. Got it. So, yeah, when it equals more than one, basically, between these two. So, if, you know, set 9 plus 2 is is 1.1, 1. 1, so that's more than one. Um, it pushed it out to the edges too far. And now, finally... <sighs> okay, so so that feels like I finally figured out what the differences were and like yeah, see that that was more fun than than when I get a math question on a test and I have to like just figure out what the fuck the difference is between this 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 all of a sudden new equation that they they've given us that's completely different than anything they've ever shown us before. Ah. School. <laughs> okay. You know what? This is so perfect. Real quick, we're gonna take just a quick, I'm gonna take a quick little BRB and I'm gonna come back and I will show you guys uh, the thing that I got, which is just, just so relevant to this that it's, it's hilarious. So just a quick little BRB though, before we do that. Okay, we're back. So, um, as you saw here, maybe as you can, wrong button, sorry. So uh, yeah, some nice nice metal in there, I love it. Um, but yeah, I haven't actually opened this yet uh, and I haven't actually seen it in person yet, but I have seen this being solved from Chris Ramsey or whatever. So it's nothing entirely new, but it is it is new in person for me. Like this is the first time I've ever ever actually gotten this so it comes with this nice little like you know the felty spongy uh, mesh I will open that later but BAM noodles puzzle noodles um I mean yeah you can see they uh, wow oh, these are oh that feels that feels nice though honestly um yeah good stuff uh, I got it from the, like, Kickstarter thing. No regrets. Uh, let's see if this says anything important. Um, here, there's a QR code for you. Wait. Put my face closer to it, and it has to focus on it. It really doesn't want to focus on this QR code. Holy crap. Stop looking at my face. Just focus on the thing in front of you, camera. This is the only thing in front of you, camera. Focus. Do it. Do it! Oh my god. <laughs> it just doesn't want to do it. Okay, well, whatever. I'm sorry. <laughs> instructional video. Oh, it's only for the instructional video. It's fine. But either way, I'm, uh, 
I'm mad that the camera wouldn't. Uh, it's just the, the instructions. I don't need that right now. I'll spend a few hours at least, or a day or two at least, before I give up and have to look at that. Um, and I've already seen the video. I know like some of the trick anyway, so I should be able to do it. It's, it's fine. It's fine. But yeah, I'm looking forward to the, doing that. Um, wasn't a cheap puzzle though. And, and uh, I mean, I'm glad that it is such, it's very heavy. It's like a solid like three pound weight kind of thing. It's, yeah. It's solid metal. Um, but yeah, I love puzzles. I think they're fantastic. I have one more back there that's like my favorite puzzle that exists. So I'll uh, maybe show that another time. But for now, let's move on. Um, I think I did say we'd finish with the donuts. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll do these these two as well. We'll, we'll finish with, with these double cones and stuff. The cones are, are pretty straightforward, I think. So... Um, Making an hourglass. That's what this is called. <laughs> um, so this one's a hollow. Oh, I guess they have to actually be connected to be called an hourglass, right? So yeah, it's a double cone. If it's not, if the if the tips don't touch. <laughs> Wait, do the tips touch? Let's see. Um, oops. Uh, boom, boom. Outset. Uh, Fifty. Whatever. Fifty nine. Sure. Um, plop that one in. Um, so what part of this is, oh, the tips do touch. <laughs> they don't look like they're touching in that picture. Um, fun fact, the cones expression were my computer science homework once. That's so cool, dude. I love that. That's so fun. Um... Yeah, no, guys, uh, Minecraft is a 3D calculator. If you can come up with an excuse to use Minecraft, do it. Just just do it, because it's just so fun and so funny when you can. I love it. I only got, like, one or two different things that I was able to use Minecraft for in my, like, high school and even college career, because, I mean, psychology is not really something you... <laughs> can use Minecraft for to be like, all right, well, let me just do a thing with that. Let me write my paper off Minecraft. Mm, it's not really, uh, like at the most, it's like, let me write my paper off of like gaming and try to generalize it into Minecraft somehow. But like, even then I couldn't really, I never really figured out a way to do that. Um, I'm sure I could if I really, really tried, but it's not something I was like, oh my God, I need to do that. <laughs> um, but yeah, math, if you're in like any kind of yeah math sort of thing and you need to you got to do some some weird expression stuff and show it minecraft do it in minecraft just do it because it's so fun and i mean honestly especially with this stuff like being able to color it and texture it that's cool that is that is genuinely something you should do your assignments on just just do like a just literally just make a build and be like oh, look what you can just do with math <laughs> that's that that's it. That's all you got. Just literally just try to make an entire build just based off math as an assignment. Bam. Done. There's your college uh, graduate degree uh, or uh, thesis or whatever, you know? It's fantastic. Um, what am I doing? Did I? Did I? I don't think I actually did the outset part. 50. But yeah, that's so cool. I love that. <laughs> Obviously, you know a lot more about this than I do. And of course, this one's hollow. So we're adding the absolute value in this and then also minus H, which is hollow, I assume. Um, wait, does this, yeah, if you literally just get rid of the H, does it, is that the hollow or is that something else? No, that's something else. No, 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 okay, it is. It, it, it did fill it in, yeah, okay. Just wanted to make sure. Okay. So yeah, that's hollow now. Um, let's go, wait, wait, watch this, ready? Um, fill our uh, sand, bam. Hourglass, okay. Um, anyway. 
generate, let's do the bottom. This is essentially just the bottom and the top, but it uses the whole selection instead of half of the selection. So, um, I actually do want to see the differences between these real quick. So this is the cone on the top and the bottom, and then this is just one cone all the way. So we're going with a little bit of an more stuff here. We definitely have numbers in here. So we have y divided by 2 minus 0. 0.5 to the power of 2 less than 0. Um, yeah, so that sounds like a little bit more going on. Um, basically, the only thing that's the same is this chunk right here. Um, and then we got, well, I guess the minus part as well. Um, and then the y turns into um, whatever, y divided by 2 minus 5, point, or minus 0. 0.5, and then to the power of 2, yeah. Um, okay, interesting. Wait, where, I don't know where my selection is, hold on. We might have just put it there, yep, whoops. Let's not put it through the hourglass. Let's put it somewhere else. Um, y is a value between negative 1 and 1. y divided by 2 minus 0. 0.5 is a value between one, negative 1 and 1. Okay, so as long as this is between negative 1 and 1, it will be a cone, right? So, I mean this, sorry. Um, yeah. y divided by 2 minus 0. 0.5, yeah. Um, so yeah, as long as, I guess, not just that, but as long as this whole thing is between negative 1 and 0, not 1, sorry. Um, yeah, okay. Okay, so yeah, so as long as, yeah, negative 1 and 0, not negative 1 and 1. Um, but that's the important part. So we could change 0. 0.5 to like 0. 0.3 or whatever and make the cone a different shape. So let's, let's... Uh, where did my stuff go? What am I missing? Uh, what? Okay. Um, okay. So let's do, 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 um, pop that in there. So let's do like point two, or no, yeah, point three. Sure, whatever. Uh, where am I? Did I do a selection? I don't think I did a selection again. Oh, dang it. Undo. One. Two. Out, set, 50. Um, bam, okay. There we go. Oh, so that starts putting a cone on top of it when you start getting, uh, I assume, bigger than, than one. Oh look, this time the tips aren't touching. <laughs> That's very funny. Um, okay, and then to flip it upside down, the thing that changes is, so you got x times x plus z times z minus y. Ah, we're just literally adding instead of subtracting up here. That's literally all that changes. So if we just uh, go shift 100 and go um, plop that in again, and we just change this to a plus, bam. I'm curious what happens if we do like divide it and stuff. <laughs> I know it never works, but I always like to see the, the nonsense. Um, 100. Looks like we do divide it, but two, no, that can't, that can't work. Cause like, it's just do divided by, divided by, right? Um, game of spot the difference. Yeah, that is true. Is it's just a experiment and see what happens. Oh, that's a nice little stalactite kind of stalagmite, whatever cave thingy. Um, that's cool. Okay, that actually is kind of useful with the multiply. Now I'm now I'm curious what does happen if you divide divide. Uh, I just gotta see now. Instead of multiply, same thing should be weird. I assume it's going to just like not work, right? No, oh, okay. It just made them way wider. Okay. 
it essentially went back to to this thing up here right huh we, we literally just reverted straight back to that that looks exactly like that but with a different it's it's one of those things again it's just, just get to the same conclusion with a different different solution <laughs> that's hilarious i love matt mm. so complicated all right well how interesting yeah so essentially that is the same as that and that is just a way more complex version of this <laughs> um yeah because we're essentially just doing this is essentially just saying y times y all of this that's hilarious it's just way more complicated <laughs> for no reason um yeah we're just yeah we're just saying why um all right no sorry it wasn't divided here not a minus but still it regardless this all of this my yeah all of this right here is just saying y times y <laughs> that's so dumb so yeah we could just go y times y and it's literally gonna do the exact same thing so wait wait hold on I need to let it execute and then we'll undo two and we'll do it again so you can see it bam there it is exactly the same yes all right that's fun good math see that would be like when the the teacher comes back and says simplify <laughs> oh man yeah all right well, I think we will get on to the sine and cosine and all that fun stuff next week because yeah, my voice is getting tired of talking. Um, and yeah, I want to get to playing with my puzzle. Um, so with that, of course, uh, next week, again, I will be doing Back to the Forest on Friday and then this on Saturday as per usual. Um, nothing, nothing special or crazy. Um, and yeah, hope you're enjoying the series. If you have found this useful, I'm sure you know how the buttons work down there by now, so do click them as you please. And if you haven't found them useful, I'm sure you also still know how the buttons work down there by now, so do click them as you please. <laughs> anyway, with that, thanks again for watching. Pluto out. <laughs>